Hello again. How are you today? I'm very fine. So happy to be with you again, guys. Today, we're going to work on multiplication again. And this time, we're going to be talking about repeated addition. What is repeated addition? For today's lesson, we have these two questions. How is multiplication like addition? How is it different? First of all, let's look at these two addition sentences. We already know what addition is, right? This is an addition sentence. Five plus three plus six, Seven plus two plus one. Those are addition sentences, the same as this one. Four plus six plus three, four plus two, all those are addition sentences. But um, how is multiplication related with addition? How is it different? Let's think it matter. In equal groups, we counted equal amounts to find a total amount. But I'm wondering something. When I have equal rules, I'm adding equal amount, right? Oh, this is exactly what happens when I have equal rules. My equal rules gave me this repeated addition sentence. Five plus five plus five plus five equal groups is related with a repeated addition sentence. We add equal amount. Let's show what you know. Can we say that this is a repeated addition sentence? It's not, very good. In here, we don't have equal numbers. We don't have equal amount. Five plus three plus six is not a repeated addition sentence. Do I have a repeated addition sentence? Yes, of course, very good. As you can notice, in a repeated addition sentence, I always add the same number. Like in this case, five plus five plus five plus five. How many times I'm adding the number five? Four times, very good. So that is my multiplication sentence. Four times five equals 20. So now I think I'm ready to answer these two questions. How is multiplication like addition? How is it different? When we multiply, we add equal numbers to get a total amount. In addition, we don't add the same number. We add different numbers. Multiplication is like addition because we use multiplication or addition to combine equal groups and get a total amount. We can write a multiplication equation in this case. We got it! Now I think that we're ready to solve this problem. Let's see. Let's do that. Ada has three vases. She puts four flowers in each of the vase. How many flowers does Ada need in all? Let's represent the equal group to find the repeated addition sentence and then the multiplication equation. But first of all, we need to highlight or underline the information of the problem. In this case, my information is three bases. I know that Ada puts five flowers in each of the bases. How many flowers does Ada need in all? I'm going to represent the bases with circles and I'm going to put my five flowers in them. Here I have my first group with five. My second group with five more. My last group of five. 
Do we have a repeated addition sentence in this equal group? Five plus five plus five. And what is five plus five plus five? How many flowers does Ada need? Five plus five, ten plus five, fifteen. Very good job. Five plus five plus five equals fifteen. And that gives me the multiplication sentence. 3 times 5 equals 15. So, how many flowers does Ada need in all? Ada needs 15 flowers in all. We got it. This is everything for today. It was a pleasure to be with you today. Here is my email. Remember, if you need something, if you need to ask any questions, just let me know. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.